So here is how you write your first blog post. Uh, this one won't be my first blog post because my blog's already active, but the process is the same. You log in and then you will be taken to your dashboard. From your dashboard on the left side, if you scroll down to posts, <laughs> if you hear my daughter squeaking in the background, that's uh, because she sees the cat. You go to posts and then add new. Click that, wait for it to load, and sometimes it takes a second. Here we go. So here's the title, how to write your first blog post, and content. So whatever you want to write in there, that uh, is going to be the copy. Um, usually you're going to have more than just the word content, but I can leave that up to you to write whatever you want. And another feature you're going to want to be aware of is adding media. That's where you can introduce photos. Uh, but first, we need a photo. So I'm going to head over to Unsplash. That's unsplash.com where you can get free high resolution photos. And I will scroll down until I find one that has to do with writing. There we go. That one's pretty good. So we'll click on that. I'm going to save, I'm going to right click and uh, save this image. And it looks like it's going to, I'm just going to call it um, blog post image. And I'll save that to the desktop. So that's downloaded to the desktop. I'm going to go back to my blog. And now when I add media, and then I uh, upload the, f the new file. You won't have any images yet in your media library, so you want to upload a file. And you can either drag the file from your desktop to this window, or you can click Select Files. I like to just drag it in. So now it wants to get some properties about the image. I'm going to call it, uh, yeah, blog post image is fine. And I will also use this as the alt text. If you give it a caption, then the caption text will appear underneath. I don't really need that. I'm just going to have these images in there. So maybe uh, actually first blog post is better for search engine reasons. So first uh, blog post pen and paper. Copy that, paste, paste. It's nice to have search engine appropriate keywords in your alt text and title and description. And then I will insert that into the post and it should pop in right there. There it is. And you're going to want to spend a lot more time kind of crafting your content. For me, I'm just demonstrating that you can put content there. And then the category, I've already added my cate categories, but if you click add new category, you can introduce a new category. For me, I've already got them, so I'm just going to select the one that makes sense for me. Tutorials, videos, it's going to have a video in there. Uh, let's see, maybe pro tips. These just help sort your blog posts later on. So if you've got a number of blog posts and someone wants to see all of the blog posts with videos in them, they can come back and do that later. Initially, you might not have very many categories and it's always easy to go back and add them later. So once all of this looks to be in more or less uh, the order you want, you can save the draft. And I always like to save, save drafts as I go and preview these posts as I go before I publish them. So now that the now that the draft is saved, I can preview what it's going to look like and that's going to open up a new window. It's going to take a couple seconds. There's the title how to write your first blog post posted by Ryan and the date. There's my image and the content that I will have written out uh, much more extensively. And then uh, we can go to edit post to return to that edit page, or we can close the window that had just opened up in the preview when we hit preview, which was this button here. And I am not going to publish this because it isn't, it isn't a real blog post, but for you, once yours is done, you hit publish and it'll be live. And that's how to write your first blog post for subjects that, uh, that can kind of help you with what to write about first because there's a lot of pressure on kind of writing the first one. Something introductory could be okay. So 
just to get the creative juices flowing you could just write about your company a little bit introduce your readers to the blog um, or just start thinking about questions that people frequently ask you and you can treat your blog early on as a frequently asked questions area so you just choose one question at a time write an answer to it and generally that's good content to have on your blog Hopefully this has been helpful, and if it uh, is missing anything or if you have further questions, please send me an email, and I will get to you immediately. Thanks.